Uh, this morning, the Oklahoma City Police Department detectives and uh, our assistant district attorneys, the chief of my sex crimes unit, uh, presented a probable cause affidavit uh, to one of the Oklahoma County district judges and requested an arrest warrant. Uh, that arrest warrant and affidavit was reviewed by the Oklahoma County District Court. Uh, judge, uh, she uh, signed off on that probable cause arrest warrant, uh, set a $5 million bond. Uh, the suspect, soon to be defendant, was arrested and should be, be being booked in the Oklahoma County Jail as we speak and will be held in that $5 million bond. His first name, he, go, he goes by Dan Holtzclaw. His, his full name is Daniel Ken Holtzclaw. Uh, all of his victims uh, are black females and they range in the ages of 34 to 58. There is right now, they've identified seven, six of them of whom they, they have, uh, have received statements from and one they're still attempting to get statements from. Uh, so you have seven total over that period of like five or six months. Uh, he's, like I said, he's been working on the police department for, for three years. He rides the area of northeast Oklahoma City. They all occurred really within that time frame of his shift. Uh, they all occurred really basically somewhere between uh, Lincoln Boulevard to I-35 and about northeast 14th and northeast 50th. That's kind of the, the area, some of those areas where they, these women were sexually assaulted. Uh, in, con in conversing with the DA's office and working with the DA's office over the last several months, uh, like I said, these officers were able to locate uh, some some actual females that had had, had been encountered had encounters. Uh, the 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 type of acts that were committed were anywhere from just uh, requ requiring the females to expose themselves uh, to fondling the females, and then there was one individual out, out of all seven that was actually uh, sexually assaulted, it was actually intercourse. Uh, there were probably three of the, three of the victims that uh, were, were asked or required to provide oral sodomy on this officer. The uh, authorization on the arrest warrant was for the charges of rape in the first degree, rape by instrumentation, forcible oral sodomy, three counts, sexual battery, two counts, indecent exposure, two counts. The rape carries five to life or life without parole. The rape by instrumentation carries one to 15 years. Forcible oral sodomy carries zero to 20 years. Sexual battery carries zero to 10 years. And indecent exposure, forcing someone to expose themselves to you is it would be a more specific charge carries 30 days to 10 years. We anticipate that uh, we'll have charging packets delivered to our office sometime next week, and certainly we would anticipate charges actual, be, actually being filed uh, by Friday of, of next week. We, we kind of anticipate there may be more victims out there because this goes back to February. February was the, the earliest that we have here through June. So uh, there's a good possibility that there may be more victims. You know, we're obviously releasing the picture, and if there's anyone that, that was victimized by this officer, we certainly want to hear from them.